Hey friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. I have a different friend with me today. I know you probably wish Holy Cow was here. Well, Holy Cow couldn't make it. He'll be back as soon as he can. He had something else he needed to do today. But I have brought with me my friend. Let me get it. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Just a minute. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up. Oh, you're heavy. You're heavy. You're... Oh. Woo. This is... JJ. Say hello, JJ. No, I, I want you to say hello to them. Say hello, JJ. JJ, all you got to do is say hello to the friends out there. I know what he's doing. JJ, open your mouth. What have I told you about bringing your toys with you? We're supposed to be talking to these boys and girls right here, and you bring your toys with you, and that doesn't work well. Because we're here to learn about Jesus, right? And, and when J.J. brings his toy, did he? Does he? J.J. When he brings his toys, it upsets me because we're trying to talk to you and everybody else about Jesus. And here he is, he's bringing his toys. Did he? JJ, I want you to stop bringing your toys to church. Because when we bring our toys to church, it becomes a problem for other people. What? Again? No doggy treats. Now get up here. We got to talk to these kids. You see, when we bring our toys to church, we become what the Bible refers to as a stumbling block. Can I have a taco? No, no, we're not here to have a taco right now. I want a taco. I know you like tacos, but this is not what we're having right now. We're talking about being a stumbling block. What a stumbling taco. No, 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 not a stumbling taco. Okay, JJ. Listen to this verse. It's found in Romans chapter 14. It says, verse 13, Therefore, let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, make up your mind not to put any stumbling blocks or obstacles in your brother's way. What's it mean? It means that when we uh, do things that we shouldn't do, we make it harder for other people to hear about Jesus. We eat tacos? There's nothing wrong with eating tacos. But if we eat it in church or we eat them in front of other people that don't have food, that could be a stumbling block. JJ, remember, uh, you know, you, you like your, your treats, right? Uh-huh. I like treats, especially tacos. I know you like tacos. But if, 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 we came, if you came in the house and I had some tacos and I put a taco on the table and I say, JJ... Don't eat the taco. And then I went outside and went in the other room and you ate the taco. Would that be right? I don't know. Well, what if I left the taco, I went in the other room, you ate the taco, and then a little later you came into the room and you um, <laughs> lost the taco out of your tummy onto the floor. Ooh, gross. Yeah, it would be really gross. But you know whose fault it is that you ate the taco? I don't know. It'd be my fault because I put the taco there and you really, 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 really like tacos. And so I put a temptation in your way. I put something that caused you to do what you weren't supposed to do. All your fault. Can I still have a taco? No, we're not having a taco right now. Maybe later. But, but see, when we make it hard for other people to hear about Jesus because of our attitude, bringing things that we shouldn't bring, being a distraction, anything like that, we become the stumbling block that, Jesus, that, that Paul was writing about in Romans chapter 14. So let's not be a stumbling block, okay? All right. Can we go get a taco now? <sighs> I don't think we can do anything without a taco. So, hey, y'all, let's not be a stumbling block, all right? And go get a taco. Taco Bell, here we come. Bye-bye, friends.